Hey, what's up, guys? It is Welsh Dragon DSG, and welcome back to another video. And today, we've got my raw ass player career mode. Make sure you leave the video like if you do enjoy it. And of course, if you haven't been with the other episodes, um, there is a glitch in my career. I can only play international games. And this is, ladies and gentlemen, the FIFA, yes, the FIFA World Cup Finals. And we are in the group stages. We into the last 28. No, 30, is it 32? I can't remember how many teams actually qualify now. I'm sure it's 32. I completely forgot. Um, and we do end up playing Czech Republic in our first game. And after this game, the season ends. Generally does. The first season ends and we go back to Stuttgart. And we can finally play games. Like, not just at the international level. It's so annoying trying to get us uh, the sim. But look at that. That was magnificent from Roaz. A bit of a scoop turn. Does the guy inside out from his tackle. And we do end up getting a buck in there shortly after. With just a reckless challenge. And we do end up just taking the bat of his legs. We get a crossing, we get a chance, and we do end up missing. And we, we played very, very well. Like our personal uh, playing style, we did extremely well. Getting crosses in, getting plays in, doing defend players like this. Look at that. Drop it there, it scoop around, and it's gone around the defender. And we do end up getting a shot away, but it's straight into the goalkeeper's hands, and it's still nil nil. But then in the 75th minute, they do end up getting the chance, and it's just wind of the post. Czech Republic then, in the last 15 minutes or so, did come out the gates a little bit more. And this is where we started losing our fitness, or whatever, you could, our cool, to be honest. And we do end up conceding a very sloppy goal. That shouldn't have gone in. And then the exact same technique happens again. And we do end up conceding that in the 90th minute. So we went pretty well for a good 80 minutes, and then... Bam! We end up losing it. It's unbelievable, to be honest, that we can do that. We could have left with a point which would have been good to help us out throughout the campaign. But we do end up losing. Czech Republic a very good side, of course. But we've got the hosts of the FIFA World Cup. We are playing Brazil. And we are the home side in this one. Roas now on the ball. Charles and his right hand side. It's kind of all we did in the first 10 minutes or so. It's the only chance we really had. Um, and I did actually do pretty well down that right hand side. I have Marcelo in my back pocket quite often, even though he's quite better than me um, as well. As well, um, as well, as well. I forgot to mention, we've improved. We're now 74 rated. We've gone up again, which is pretty good. Seeing the amount of limited games we've actually played, but lovely ball over to Royas. Royas now cuts on inside with a rainbow McGeady spin. I forgot what it's called, and then gets a shot away. And we do end up getting the save from the goalkeeper. Royas now on the ball, puts a through ball to our left midfielder, and he unfortunately gets knocked off the ball from the Brazilian. And then at halftime, it's nil nil. So, pretty happy both games so far that we played going at halftime at nil nil. But then it just doesn't work out for us. I mean, look like how unfortunate can you get your defending reactions are terrible. And I don't know what this with the AI when you put a be a pro career, they're always shite. And I don't know what it is, genuinely don't know. It doesn't matter what team you're with. I, I, I've, I've been with good teams, like I did one with Spurs before, and, and the, the AI is always shit at defending and everything, so it's quite strange. I don't know what EA actually do with it, um, and it's unfortunate as well I can't play with Leeds, because Leeds are obviously doing well in the league, I think. Um, they're in the playoff stages, and it's like I can't play with our team just because it's a massive glitch in FIFA, but I don't really know. If you're a top team, in a, a small pond, if you're a big fish in a small pond, it might be quite easy, but for, for me, on you, I always find the AIs are very, very shit. Um, but anyway, here, like, this is a prime example of how bad the AI can be. You just didn't get rid of it. And every, I'm pressing A, asking for the ball, and it's a, a, a lucky enough, he did actually miss it. Originally, a good save from the goalkeeper. And then we charge on this right hand side, trying to get away from it just in the 30th minute, and we do end up getting a cross in on the noggin, but it's cleared by. The Danish defender, and then they end up on an attack, and they were actually the better side in this game. I know New Zealand not exactly the best, but I'd like to pull up a challenge, and we didn't put a challenge up, to be honest. And um, it's pretty unfortunate, even though it's nil-nil, 75 minutes gone, we didn't get any crucial chances, if you know what I mean. We stayed in the game, but we wasn't putting any effort in on trying to get goals. So it was like, really, is there any point? And anyway, and sure, we do end up conceding one of the most sloppiest goals ever. Eriksen, Christian Eriksen, does end up scoring that goal. And I couldn't believe it. I was like, really, lad? And the thing is, when you're a pro, all you can do is just watch. There's nothing you can do about it. And he just ends up slotting it in. Goalkeeper's all over the shop. I should have gone beat a uh, goalkeeper. 
and just see how well I could have done. But anyway, we do come at the end of Anne's, the end of our campaign as well, and the end of season one of the Raw Ass thing. So we end up losing every single game in the World Cup. And unfortunately, that's it, guys. That's the end of this episode. I want to say thank you very much for watching and hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you leave the video a like, and there's plenty more coming soon. Cream all that, come with you. Bye.